This is the second and final part of the introduction of the gods of Egypt. To see other parts, you can follow the link above. Isis, a very important figure in the ancient world. Isis was the wife of Osiris and mother of Horus. She was associated with funeral rites and said to have made the first mummy from the dismembered parts of Osiris. As the enchantress who resurrected Osiris and gave birth to Horus, she was also the giver of life, a healer and protector of kings. Isis is represented with a throne on her head and sometimes shown breastfeeding the infant Horus. In this manifestation she was known as Mother of God, to the Egyptians she represented the ideal wife and mother, loving, devoted, and caring. Her most famous temple is at Philly though her cult spread throughout the Mediterranean world and, during the Roman period, extended as far as Northern Europe. There was even a temple dedicated to her in London. Keper, also known as, Kepri, Kepra, Kepera, Keper, was a creator god depicted as a scarab beetle, or as a man with a scarab for a head. The Egyptians observed young scarab beetles, emerging spontaneously from balls of dung, and associated them with the process of creation. Keper was one of the first gods, self-created, and his name means he who has come into being. Adam took his form as he rose out of the chaotic waters of the nun in a creation myth. It was thought that Keper rolled the sun across the sky in the same way a dung beetle rolls balls of dung across the ground. Num, Num, was depicted as a ram-headed man. He was a god of the cataracts, a potter, and a creator god who guarded the source of the Nile. His sanctuary was on Elephantine Island but his best preserved temple was at Esna. The famine steel, which is a carved stone tablet, contains appeals to Gnum during a famine caused by a low inundation of the Nile. Kansu. Also known as Kans Kansu. Kans Kansu was the son of Ammon and Mut, with whom he formed the Theban Triad. He was a moon god depicted as a man with a falcon head wearing a crescent moon headdress surmounted by the full lunar disc, like Thoth, who was also a lunar deity. He is sometimes represented as a baboon. Kansu was believed to have the ability to drive out evil spirits. Ramesses I, I sent a statue of Kansu to a friendly Syrian king in order to cure his daughter of an illness. His temple was within the precincts of Karnak. Mot. Mot was the goddess of truth and justice, embodying the essential harmony of the universe. She was depicted as a seated woman wearing an ostrich feather, or sometimes just as the feather itself. Her power regulated the seasons and the movement of the stars. Mot was the patron of justice and the symbol of ancient Egyptian ethics, so the vizier who was in charge of the law courts went by the title priest of Mot. Mot was the ultimate judge in the afterlife, and the heart of the newly deceased was weighed against her feather in the Hall of Two Truths. Amit, devourer of the dead, ate those who failed her test. Montu. Montu was a warrior god who rose to become the state god during the 11th dynasty. He was associated with King Montu Hatepai. Montu was satisfied, who reunited Upper and Lower Egypt after the chaos of the First Intermediate Period. During the 12th dynasty Montu was displaced by the rise of Ammon, but he took on the true attributes of a war god when warrior kings such as Thutmose III and Ramesses III identified themselves with him. Mut. Mut formed part of the Theban Triad. She was one of the daughters of Ra, the wife of Ammon, and mother of Khonsu. She was the vulture goddess and is often depicted as a woman with a long, brightly colored dress and a vulture headdress surmounted by the double crown. In her more aggressive aspects she is shown as a lion-headed goddess. Like Isis and Hathor, Mut played the role of Divine Mother to the King. Her amulets, which depict her as a seated woman suckling a child, are sometimes confused with those of Isis. Nephethes. Daughter of Jebanut, sister of Isis, wife of Seth and mother of Anubis. Nephethes is depicted as a woman with the hieroglyphs for a palace and Neb, a basket, on her head. She is thus known as Lady of the Mansions or Palace. Nephethes was disgusted by Seth's murder of Osiris and helped her sister, Isis, against her husband, Seth. Together with Isis she was a protector of the dead. And they are often shown together on coffin cases, with winged arms. She seems to have had no temple or cult center of her own. Osiris. Osiris was originally a vegetation god linked with the growth of crops. He was the mythological first king of Egypt and one of the most important of the gods. It was thought that he brought civilization to the race of mankind. He was murdered by his brother Seth, brought back to life by his wife Isis, and went on to become the ruler of the underworld and judge of the dead. 
He is usually depicted as a mummy holding the crook and flail of kingship. On his head he wears the white crown of Upper Egypt flanked by two plumes of feathers. Sometimes he is shown with the horns of a ram. His skin is depicted as blue, the color of the dead, black, the color of the fertile earth, or green, representing resurrection. Osiris's head was thought to have been buried at Abydos, his main cult center. Each year, during his festival, there was a procession and a reenactment of his story in the form of a mystery play. Ta. Ta was a creator god, said to have made the world from the thoughts in his heart and his words. He was depicted as a mummy with his hands protruding from the wrappings and holding a staff. His head was shaven and he wore a skull cap. Ta was associated with craftsmen, and the high priest of his temple at Memphis held the title Great Leader of Craftsmen. Ra. Also known as Re, the supreme sun god was represented as a man with the head of a hawk, crowned with a solar disk and the sacred serpent. However, in the underworld through which he passes each night, he is depicted as ram-headed. Each day Ra traveled across the sky in the form of the sun, riding in his solar boat, and each night he journeyed through the underworld where he defeated the allies of chaos. He was reborn each morning in the form of the sunrise. His influence on the other gods was so strong that he subsumed many of their identities. Thus Amun became Amun-Ra, Montu became Montura and Horus became ra Horati. Pharaoh Akhenaten's god, the Aten, was another form of Ra. The solar disk? The Egyptian kings claimed to be descended from Ra, and called themselves the son of Ra. His cult was very powerful during the period of the Old Kingdom, when sun temples were built in his honor. His cult center was at Heliopolis, which nowadays is covered by the northern suburbs of Sobuk. Sobuk was a crocodile god, depicted as a crocodile on an altar, or as a man with a crocodile head wearing a headdress in the form of the sun disk with upright feathers and horns. Sobuk's main cult centers were at Medan and Elfe and at the Temple of Kalamambo, which he shared with Horus and which still exists today. There was a pool at Kalmambo containing sacred crocodiles, and it is still possible to see original mummified crocodiles at the temple. Seth, also known as Set, Sedek, Sudi and Sudek Seth was the son of Jeb and Nut, and the evil brother of Osiris. He was the god of darkness, chaos, and confusion, and is represented as a man with an unknown animal head, often described as a Typhonian by the Greeks who associated him with the god Typhon. He is sometimes depicted as a hippopotamus, a pig, or a donkey. Seth murdered his brother and usurped the throne of Egypt, and most of the other gods despised him. Horus eventually defeated Seth, but it was thought that their battle was an eternal struggle between good and evil. Although Seth failed to keep the throne of Egypt he continued to be a companion of Ra. He sometimes accompanied Ra across the sky in his solar boat, causing storms and bad weather. Seth was venerated by some, and his main cult center was at Nakata. Some kings would liken themselves to Seth in battle, but for the most part the people loathed him and his defeat by Horus was regularly celebrated. Tefnut Tefnut was the wife of Shu and mother of Nut and Jeb. She and her husband were the first gods created by Adam. She was the goddess of moisture or damp, corrosive air, and was depicted either as a lioness or as a woman with a lioness's head. Thoth Thoth was the god of writing at knowledge, and was depicted as a man with the head of an ibis holding a scribe's pen and palette, or as a baboon. The Greeks associated him with Hermes, and ascribed to him the invention of all the sciences as well as the invention of writing. He is often portrayed writing or making calculations. Thoth stands apart from most of the other gods. He was as old as the oldest gods and often acted as an intermediately between gods. He was associated with the moon, and is sometimes shown wearing a moon disc and crescent headdress. One of his most important roles was to record the deeds of the dead in the Day of Their Judgment, and is often seen doing this in the Book of the Dead. His main temple was at Hermopolis in Middle Egypt, 